guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care, and today we are putting the quick shoot on the FW15. Really excited about this. It's going to be a very useful addition to the FW15. So I have everything out of the box. Um, not a lot to it. You've got the the main quick shoot assembly, your hardware, the handle, and then instructions. So, uh, I know somebody will ask, there's the, the kit number, NQD FW15 32 inch deck. Um, it just gives you some quick pictures, looks pretty sharp on there. Um, and then very basic directions, you've got three steps here, and then this walks you through um, the handle and the spring, that kind of stuff, warranty information. So. Pretty easy install. So let's uh, jump right into it. First of all, let me show you the quick shoot assembly. And on the back side, you'll notice this uh, wedge on the cover. And that's different from the other quick shoots that I've installed on my Z3X mowers. And that's to accommodate fitting the back of the deck. So All right, so the first thing we do is lay the spacers on here. And I'm just laying them there in a random spot, and then we'll lay the uh, quick shoot on top of it and get those lined up and get the quick shoot lined up with the deck. So. All right. Now. I want to find the mounting holes that we want to use and then we're going to mark we're going to use our marker to mark the hole that we want to use so um, I'm going to move those spacers around a little bit so they're kind of out of my way And the other thing, too, is that you want to make sure you're holding the quick shoot up against the deck nice and solid. Once you've got your uh, quick shoot where you want it and you mark the holes, which is kind of difficult to do with the marker, um, you know, getting it in there at an angle. But once you have those marked, then we're going to drill a 3 8 hole on each one of those marks. Before I do that, I'm going to put it back in place and I'm going to show you how I lined it up. So it might make it easier for you. Now that I know where the spacers need to go, I can go ahead and set those in, in place also and make sure that they're going to line up properly. So, Alright, so it looks like my marks are going to line up good. So let me show you how I have it laid out here. Um, it looks like this bracket right here comes almost directly in line with the front of the deck. And you'll see the chute actually overlaps the front of the deck about three quarters of an inch and then in the back that wedge you see how it takes up that gap in the back so that's basically how I've got it lined up everything looks like it's fitting nice and snug and my uh, my marks are in the right spot so now what I'm gonna do is center punch those marks and go ahead and drill my holes I have two bits I have my 3 8 and then I also have a pilot bit to run through first. Uh, this is roughly a 3 16 but you could use an eighth inch or just whatever you have. Just makes it easier to drill a big hole like that if you start with a smaller drill bit. Making sure my blade isn't right there. Okay. I'm switching to 3 
Sweet. You're going to need this hardware out of your hardware kit, the two 5 16 bolts by, I believe they're inch and a quarter, inch and a half, it says inch and a quarter, uh, four washers, two vinyl lock nuts, and then we're going to set the unit in place and get it bolted down. So what I'm doing first is running the nuts down until they're making contact. Uh, basically, just getting it snug enough that I can get everything in place before I tighten them. Alright, I think that's where I want it, so... Tighten it up and then check the fit again. The next thing is the spring which is going to run from here to here. So uh, I'm going to get the camera in there real close and we'll get that on. Okay, now they give you this little piece of wire to hook on and you can put a screwdriver through it and it gives you a, an easy way to pull on that. So I'm definitely going to use that. I'm going to figure out how to get the spring on the... Oh, there we go. Okay, so then all that's left is just to bring this up and hook it. like that and then take the wire off so now the spring is on see how that works okay and next is the handle so the first thing we need to do is to mount the handle to this plate and then we'll have to make all of our adjustments and get the handle where we want it
I snugged everything up off camera and got the handle adjusted about where I wanted it so I could try it out. So let me show you how I have the handle ran because if you're putting this on for yourself, you're going to want to see that. So I just kind of, it's not perfectly in line with the handle. It's up a little ways, but basically I, I wanted to try to keep it, you know, trying to keep it streamlined so it's in line with the mower um, and also it works quick access for me to grab to open and close. So I'll just kind of show it to you here from some different angles. Pardon my messy garage. It always is. But anyway, let me show you the operation. So I'm standing here in the operator's position as if I'm pushing the mower. Uh, reach up move it straight up you can see it's open it's kind of loud in here but uh, anyways open and then pull it back down to close and then of course you can have it part way open you just lift it up a little ways it's got this little tumbler right here that falls into place and locks it halfway open and then to close it all the way you open it close it so really easy uh, nothing to that other than it just being loud in here but uh, pretty slick so nice uh, nice fit to the deck all the way around doesn't look like I'll have any issues with with blowout or anything I mean you're always gonna have some there's gonna be airflow and that air has to go somewhere so it's probably gonna come out you know underneath the deck uh, especially if I'm mowing up real high but the thing about thing about this is you know it's a shoot block it's not a mulch kit uh, basically you just use a shoot block when you don't want to throw the clippings somewhere so let's say I'm going along the house or the sidewalk and I'm striping and I'm not running the mulch kit obviously because I've got the shoot block on and I don't want to throw clippings on the sidewalk so usually my first pass I blow things away from the house uh, away from the vehicle away from the sidewalk all of that you know, but your second pass is still going to throw clippings well beyond that first pass. So that's when you can use the shoot block, close it, get past whatever it is you're going to get past, and then carry on. So anyway, that was really easy. Um, even with even with messing with the camera and all of that, it still probably took me maybe 20 minutes to install that. So no big deal. And here's everything you need. This is everything that I used. So uh, two half inch wrenches, a 7 16 wrench, a screwdriver, doesn't matter if it's Phillips or flat, because you're just using it to install that spring. Um, I believe this is a four and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a center punch, a pilot bit of some size, whatever size you want to use, three eighths bit, of course a drill, and a hammer. So that's, that's literally it. Everything right there is everything you need to install the quick shoot. Uh, I don't have a side mount catcher on this mower, but I do know with my Z3X mowers, and it looks like with this mower as well, um, you would easily be able to use a side mount catcher with this in the open position without having to remove it, which is a big plus. So, you know, if you look at the side of the mower here, when this is open, I mean, it, it completely gets out of the way of the mower. So, you know, you've got, you've got the area there to put your side mount catcher bracket on and still use that. So uh, that's definitely a plus. In fact, with those spacers under there, you've even got a quarter of an inch of space underneath it. So you could slide, you know, if your bracket's a little bit wider than this space, you know, it can slide up underneath there depending on what type of bracket you have for your side mount catcher. So let me show you the little tumbler that I was talking about. So when this opens partially, that's what, uh, that's what does that, that little mechanism. So then it's just, it's just gravity that operates it. So if you close it really slow, then that has time to fall into place. And if you close it fast, then it doesn't. So anyway, that's it. 
that's the quick shoot. I've, uh, I've really been looking forward to getting my hands on this and getting it installed. Uh, last season I ran the mulch kit the entire season. So all of 2020 I ran the mulch kit. Right up until the very end of the season, I, uh, and then I threw the bagger on there and bagged a little bit. And so this year my plan is to not run the mulch kit, but to run the, uh, the super high lift blades probably. And uh, we're going to mow with those, and we're going to use the uh, shoot block, the quick shoot, and see how that works out for us this season, as opposed to running the mulch kit. So, you know, I like to try out new things. I like to, uh, to see what works best for me and my situation, and uh, always, always looking for that ideal setup on whatever machine it is that I have. So, anyways, guys... Uh, that's it for now. That's the quick shoot for the FW15, the NQD-FW15 kit. I actually purchased this through Power Mower Sales. So yeah, just look for Power Mower Sales online. And the cost was $333.50. So that's what the quick shoot runs. That's about the average price, no matter what unit. You're purchasing this for uh, they might vary a little bit in price but that's about the same so as always guys thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one